Hello and welcome back to the second part of section 2.6. We're going to do one more example that deals with problem solving with related rates. And this example says an airplane is flying a flight path that will take it directly over a radar tracking system as shown. If S is decreasing at a rate of 400 miles per hour when S equals 10, what is the speed of the plane? So the first thing we need to do is we need to identify what is given. Okay, and if you look back here, we have uh, that S is decreasing at a rate of 400 miles per hour. So because S is decreasing, this is going to be our dS dt. And the decreasing tells us that it's a negative 400 miles per hour. Then it continues on to read that when s equals 10 miles, what is the speed of the plane? So we want to find the speed. Now in this case, we're given another variable here, which is x. And if we go dx dt, or the displacement of distance per unit of time, that's going to give us a speed. So I'm really looking to find dx dt when s equals 10 and x equals, now we haven't been given x directly, but you know that s, if s is 10 and the y or this line right here is equal to 6, you're told you have a right angle, so you can use Pythagorean theorem to solve for x. So we're going to solve for x by taking the square root of 100 which is 10 squared, minus 36 or 6 squared. This is going to give us the square root of 64, which is 8. And our units on these are in miles for both x and s. So now I need to find out or come up with an equation that's going to relate my s and my x and the y, um, which is your 6 miles. So Again, using Pythagorean Theorem, I know that s squared is equal to x squared plus 6 squared. So if I go ahead and differentiate that, we're going to get um, 2s ds dt is equal to 2x dx dt plus 0. Now when I get dx dt by itself, this is going to give us dx dt is equal to 2s divided by 2x ds dt. And with that, our 2s are going to cancel, and we are left with s divided by x times ds dt. Now I have values for s, x, and ds dt, so I'm going to plug those in right now. And when we plug those in, we end up with dx dt equals s, which was 10 miles, divided by x, which is 8 miles, times ds dt, which we know was a negative 400 miles per hour. So when I go ahead and multiply all of this together, this is going to give me, it goes into negative 40, a negative, I'm sorry, negative 400, a negative 50 times, 50 times 10 is going to give me a negative 500. Miles are going to cancel out here, but I'm still left with miles per hour, which is a unit of speed, so that looks good. So I ended up with a negative 500 miles per hour, which is a velocity. If I want the actual speed, I have to take the absolute value of that. So my speed is really equal to 500 miles per hour. So this here is the final answer. And with that, I hope you have a good night, and we will see you guys in class tomorrow.